So today we have an interesting maths puzzle. The puzzle says that if Mr. Jones, who is a farmer, and he is having 150 apples, he gave these apples among his three sons, John, Johnny, and Jackson. He gave 15 apples to John, 50 apples to Johnny, and 85 apples to Jackson, and told them that in the evening he will return from the market. All of you must have the same amount of money. So it's a puzzle, and you can pause the video and give this problem a try. If you are able to solve this problem, you can resume the video to check your answer and if you were unable to solve it, you can resume the video to check the solution. So, first of all, let us discuss the wrong method which most of you must use. The thing you have used is finding the LCM of these three numbers that is 50, 50 and 85 and you got it as 2550 and then you told John should sell it apples at 170, Johnny at 51 and Jackson as 30. But that is wrong because the same apple of same quality and same variety has been sold in the three different prices in the market and that's wrong. The apples must be sold at the same price and the same quantity means same quantity same price then and then only it's like valid in the market. So for that let me make a table so everything will be clear according to that. So here is the table ready. So first of all what they will do is that they will sell one dozen of apple. One dozen mean 12 apples. So one dozen of apple at a price of dollar one. Yes. So as John is having 15 apples, so one dozen contains 12 apples. So maximum he can sell one dozen. So let me write here. I am writing the dozen here. The amount they will receive after selling these apples. So John can sell only one dozen of apples. So he will gain a amount of one dollar. Yes. Johnny is having 50 apples. So he can sell a maximum of four dozen because four, 12, 48. So he can sell four dozens of apple. So he will gain an amount of four dollars. Yes. And Jackson is having 85 apples. So he can sell 84 apples. That is seven dozens of apple. And the amount he will receive is seven dollars. Yes. Now let us discuss the remaining apples. So as John has sold 12 apples. So he is having three apples left. Johnny has two left. And Jackson has one left. Now they have to sell this remaining apple. So now they have to change the price. So now they will keep the price as one apple. Only single apple will now cost dollar three. Yes, three dollar for one apple. So as John John has three apples, so he sold three of them. So total amount he will receive is three into three. That is nine dollars. Yes. Now Johnny is there. So Johnny has two apples left. So he will sell two at a price of three dollars. So two into three six. And Jackson has again only one apple left. So one into three is three dollars. So this is the amount they receive after selling the remaining apples at the same price. So now let us have the total over here in the last bracket. So the amount John received is 1 and 9. So 1 and 9 means $10. Johnny has an amount of 4 and 6 that is $10. And Jackson has an amount of 7 and 3 that is again the $10. And hence they sell all their apples and at last they have the same amount of money and that is 10. What was over here is that you can observe. One dozen the price was fixed that is one dollar and after that price was fixed for one apple that is three dollar and this was fixed for all of them three. So in the market the prices means the things are sold in this way. The prices among all the sellers should be same then and then only the products are means sold in the market. So the ten dollar is the correct answer to this and if you were able to solve it you can check the solution over here. So usually I don't make this kind of puzzle videos regularly but I make and it's like a one in two weeks. Usually I make videos on calculus like integration, derivatives, limits, trigonometry, system of equations and many of the times geometry problems. You can check it in the upload section of my channel.